It really came about from meeting uh, Mark at the Winding House and Karen at Monmouth Street Museums. Really talking with them about how do we widen access for people who might be struggling with mental health issues. So how could we work with the museums to engage in heritage using creativity and art making to break down those barriers. The Cabinet of Curiosities asked the participants to have a look at what was in the collection in the museum and to find a way to respond to the objects or the concept of what the museum tries to put over. The way that we went about it was asking them not really to focus on what things are in a factual sense, but to look at it from a creative response. Basically, being where we're situated in Utrecht, there's obviously um, like a mining town. Um, because my grandfather was down the pits for quite a long time, um, I thought I'd go and have a chat with him, see what ideas he's got. He gave me an awful lot of information, and I had to drill this information down to just a couple of different things. As my grandfather was talking as well, he kind of drew upon the division of men and women and their roles in in society and. Um, I think that piece kind of illustrates that really, really well, the way in which women were kind of placed in society at the time and the way in which men typically would go, you know, go out to mine and things like that. So as much as it is a personal piece, um, it, it does help to kind of um, illustrate really the way in which society was at the time. I love gardening. I mean, it's, it's one of my things, I enjoy it, but I also love music and I wanted to try and combine the two, um, you know, because obviously there's a drum kit in the shed, well that's where you put it, because you wouldn't want it in the house. So um, it was nice to see it sort of come to some sort of, um, you know, realisation then. As an artist living a fantastic working with the group I did, I was very lucky I had other artists working with me as well, um, who's one of the participants, and people who know the museum in the area quite well. So we had lots of information and lots of starting points. We've run out of time rather than had to fill the time. We could probably do another six cabinets between us quite easily and create our whole, our own wall of curiosities. <laughs>